Hey everybody, it's Yummy Kowalski here, and this is Transformers Fall of Cybertron Multiplayer. Now, if you watched my other video of the campaign, the first mission, I said I would try to uh, play some multiplayer and show you guys some footage. It depends if people are playing. But before I do that, I want to show you guys some character customization. Now, there's four classes, Infiltrator, Destroyer, Titan, and Scientist. We're going to be looking at the Scientist right now. Now, he has, uh, you can customize his weapons and his body parts to make a custom transformer. He has all these different custom presets of different characters. And if you unlock the character or buy him, you can get his all his parts. And including some DLC characters, which I apparently have on this Xbox One edition. So... Let me think about what I'm going to do exactly here. So I'm going to go over to the scientist again. Or Titan. He has a def... Yeah, you know what? Let's go to the Titan. I'm going to switch everyone to the Dinobots, which are really cool. Because apparently I have them unlocked, even though I didn't purchase the DLC. But I did purchase it on the Xbox 360. So they all have these presets. And down below are free... Or not free, but you don't have to purchase them with... In game, you have to purchase them with uh, real money, uh, custom or not custom, but like preset characters. And I have the Dinobots, so I'm switching all my main characters to Dinobots. As you see, I haven't unlocked the other classes or uh, custom classes yet. But here are the primaries or the weapons you can choose. You have four weapons to choose from, and then within those weapons, you have attachments that do everything from range to extended clip. And then you have your second weapon, and you can basically choose another weapon, except for the one you can't choose the weapon you chose for the first uh, choice. And then you got attachments, and then you have your abilities. And then within ability, within your abilities, you have certain perks you can add to those abilities, which is really cool. And that's like that for all the characters. They all have two abilities, and uh, you can change it. And they all have different weapons, so not just those four weapons you saw. So obviously different body parts, different heads, depending on the main body part is what type of transform you trans transform into. So you got your hands, your feet. So this guy's a dino bot, so if you change the middle part, he would not be a d pterodactyl, he'd be maybe a jet or a helicopter. Apparently you can't change the wings on this guy, maybe it's because he's a DLC guy. You can also change, it doesn't really do much, but the color of the lighting. You can of course change the color of the transformer, but I'm not going to show you guys that because that's uh, for another time. That's not really important. Uh, so, okay, I tried to get into the game. I'm hosting it. Wait a second, guys. I'm going to check something and I'm going to see if I can get in the game. So I'll be right back. All right, before we start, I just want to show you the game modes right there. And these are to show you, I haven't played anything yet on this game so far on the Xbox One, but I did play on the 360. Okay, it looks like I got in the game here, guys. I'm really excited. I'm gonna be the scientist. That's my favorite class. Not because you can run away, but because he's the team medic. Alright, I joined in a late game here. Looks like we're the Decepticons. And yes, I'm a flying dinosaur, which is really cool. A transformer. Looks like we're Decepticons, and we are losing. Alright, just don't know what to do right now. Just got into the game. I'm kind of excited. I didn't think I would get in the game. I can't get that guy. Oh, I'm going to get you. No, shoot. Got to heal my allies here. Three minutes left. Alright, this game's been going on a while. Looks like no one's getting kills. Come on, come on. I'm gonna try to save this guy. Oh, I got him through the crack. <laughs> oh shoot, there's a guy. Oh my game, my aim is brutal. I haven't played this. I need to warm up. I haven't even tr had a chance to warm up yet. Didn't think I was gonna get into a game. I'm being sniped like crazy right now. That's why I like playing scientists. I can heal. I'm being shot. Jesus, where is this guy? Oh, great. Out of the map glitch. Go figure. Yeah, so it's really cool. This is a DLC character. His name is Swoop, I think. And yeah, he's a transforming dinosaur. 
Ah, oh, try to go over there and save that guy. Maneuver through here. And yes, when you're flying, you can get away pretty easily. And that's why people are like, oh, don't be him because he's such a cheap character. You can just run away. I'm trying to figure out what to do. I see a bunch of guys over there that need healing. I'm used to playing an objective game mode where I have something to do. But right now, I'm just looking for people because this is just Team Deathmatch. But I'm a little rusty and I rather start trying to heal people. Get some points that way. Looks like there's a guy over here who needs some healing as well. Oh, someone beat me to it. Maybe I'll go back to the other guy who I just healed who needs healing again. It looks like I just leveled up. See, only level one. Alright, we lost. I'm gonna play another game and uh, show you a full game. So yeah, just see, nothing leveled up, just leveled up scientists. This is my first game right there. Look at that, it's a full game here. Wonder why I couldn't find another game. I, I think it might have been, uh, I... Oh yeah, that's probably it. I switched it to worldwide thinking I would get more people from all over the world and where I am. But apparently if I switch it to regional, there looks like there's no one else playing worldwide. But if I switch it to regional, I find people, so that's strange. Maybe it's only people are playing in the US or something. So we're playing on Convoy, Team Deathmatch. I'm excited here. Full game. This is my second game. Or first full game. wait until the game starts. On the right shows everyone, shows the level of the characters and it switches characters to show each level of that character. You can level each character to 25, so a total of level 100. And those blue uh, like circles on the left side of the vehicles show if they're max level. And obviously gold, silver, and bronze is the best. Who's first, second, and third. So we're in a game here, we're gonna play scientist. This is going to be my first full game. And I remember on this map there's a cheap spot where all the scientists go and snipe off of, which is really annoying. It looks like the whole team's going scientists. Whole other team. I'm the only, oh no, there's two scientists. I'm not going to be that cheap tactic, but I'm going to go up there and kill those people who do that. That's what I remember on the 360 remember people doing that on the 360. So we'll see. Maybe they won't do it here. Come on. Oh, just waiting for the game to start. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're Autobots. So I'm gonna fly up here and try to kill some scientists. Oh look, there's another guy. Hopefully he's not... I don't remember, you have to kind of glitch it or something? Oh, there's a guy up there. Maybe you have to go around... Oh shoot, there's another guy. Maybe you have to go around over here. Up. Oh, there we go. Got a kill. guy over here who looks injured. Hopefully I can... No. Too, too late. God, I'm so excited there's people playing this game. I love this game so much. God, my aim is brutal right now. Come on! Oh, shoot. Lots of damage. Alright, no. I gotta get out of here. When you need one. So I remember there's a health kick. Health kick. Health kit right here, or Energon. I get that. I'll fly back up here, if I can. And try it. Looks like no one's up here. Looks like there's guys down there that need some healing. 
Nope, couldn't save that guy. Let me try to heal this guy and support him. And he got inner John. Alright, never mind. So, yeah, the crazy transformations are so smooth. It's so good looking. I really uh, highly suggest you get this game. This is a really solid game. And it's got tons of content and DLC. Got that guy. Gotta stay focused here. Got the turret. There's a guy over here who needs healing. I'm gonna try to get over to him. It's so cool being a flying dinosaur. Hopefully I can save this guy. Oh shoot, 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 gotta get out of here. Let me try to kill this guy. Oh got him. The other guy didn't even see me. Oh shoot, now he did. Yeah! Not that rusty. I saw a lot of people in the game. They were low levels, so. I don't know how long this game's been out on the Xbox One. This is not backwards compatible, so if you do have it on the 360, uh, 360 you can't just backwards compatible it over to the Xbox One. You actually have to buy it, and it's about 50 bucks. 49.99, I think, last time I checked. But that, level 3. Totally missed level 2. Went wipe right by it. Don't remember seeing level 2. Whoa, wrong button, wrong button. Shoot. I meant to hit him, not to transform. Yeah, so that's my ability. Healing. I can also upgrade that ability. I think there's an upgrade where if you heal people, they the healing will come back to you and heal you if you're damaged, which I'm probably going to use because that's very good. Or I can switch it out for a sentry, and then there's different variants of the sentry, like a rust sentry that slows down enemies, and a plain sentry that just... generic sentry that just um, uh, shoots people. So yeah, there's a lot of customization in here, and... Um, the first game didn't have that depth of customization, but this game is so... God, this game's so good. This is one of my favorite games. I know I've said that a bunch of times, but it is. So there's an infiltrator. Those guys can cloak and throw uh, flash bangs, or stun grenades. And I'm being chased right now. Someone's behind me. Oh, shoot. But over here, got the energon. God. That guy got me. Oh, there's a DLC guy. Um, it's the G1 Optimus Prime Earth form. Really cool. Okay, that guy. Oh, that guy was low on health. We're gonna heal you. Save your life. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shoot. I don't think I saved the other guy or, or he ran away. Oh. I remember this. There's like three different power-ups on the map. This one is healing, so it instantly heals you at the click of a button when you need healing. There's another one that gives you speed boost. Can heal this guy. And there's another one who gives you a shield that multiplies your damage and also refills your ammo with when you're inside the shield, which is really cool. So I'm trying to figure out what to do right now. Looks like people are not really going up there like they did on 360, that cheap tactic. Which is kind of good. But also doesn't give me really anything to do, because I'm not really a heavily armored and damage dealing character. I'm sort of a support character that stays in the back and there's nowhere to stay in the back of. That 
guy. That guy was a titan. Those guys are like the team tank. Those guys are buildings. I think they have a shield where you can pull up a shield, like a medieval shield, which is really cool. And this other one is Whirlwind, which you already saw, where he spins around and it's very effective and he can hit people all around him. Also lock on with these rockets, which I'm doing right now. Oh, got an assist. Come on. Level four, there we go. Five kills remaining. Yeah, I like healing. I like playing as support characters a lot. My brother teases me about oh. You're just not good at killing, so you go over to support. <laughs> but no. Supporting's fun. I love healing. And people don't really get angry at people who heal. Like, people appreciate you. Why am I even talking about this? The game's coming to a close here. It looks like we're dominating them. Almost done. Shit. You know what? I might get the last kill here. Oh! Get that guy over there! No, Optimus! No, no, no! I want him! No! Alright, so that was a full game of Transformers Fall of Cybertron. Really excited to show you guys that. Multiplayer. Playing as a scientist. So I just wanted to check something really quickly. Because I switched it to regional. And I couldn't find anyone on worldwide. So I'm going to quit this game. And I'm going to go to... Uh, back in. To multiplayer. And see if anyone on regional is playing Conquest. Because Conquest is... In my opinion, a better game mode because you have an objective to fight over and it's not just killing people. So let's see. Maybe there's more people playing this game than I thought there were. I'll go down here to Conquest. Ah, oh, shoot. No, doesn't look like it. Looks like there's still people playing it, but only on um, Team Deathmatch, which was, which was the same thing with the 360. There was only enough people to play Team Deathmatch. Which is okay, at least there's people playing, which I'm really glad, and I'll be able to level up it on the Xbox One, because my uh, 360 controllers are falling apart. They're old. So, that was Transformers Fall of Cybertron Multiplayer. I hope you guys enjoy, and like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.